The following is brought to you by an anti-zombie wearable technology from Liquid Death. Have you heard the news? A zombie outbreak has completely overrun Las Vegas. It's just a matter of time until the army of the dead find their way to you and your family in search of delicious warm brains. If only there was a way to make you and your loved ones virtually invisible to nearby lurking zombies. Well, now there is. Introducing the Liquid Death No-Brainer. Ingenious wearable tech featuring breakthrough cold temperature science that hides your warm brains from zombies' natural thermal vision. Lightweight. Comfortable. Important. The no-brainer gives you peace of mind that zombies won't eat pieces of your mind. Cool it, zombies. Protect your head from the undead with the liquid death no-brainer. Hey everyone, I am Steve Danner, and this is celebrity stylist Dina Marie. And we are here to introduce you to a product that will save humanity from the impending doom of the zombie apocalypse. That's right, Steve. Canned water company Liquid Death heard your calls for help and is here with a solution. The Liquid Death No-Brainer. Its cold temperature brain masking technology hides your warm brains from zombies. It will not only keep you safe, but save you the hassle of unsightly zombie barricades, scary armed guards, and hard to use home arsenals. It's time to stop living in fear when zombies are near. All right, Dina. Let's take a closer look at this amazing new product. How does it work? Well, as we all know, Steve, zombies love human brains about as much as I love a skinny margarita. They sense a warm brain from hundreds of feet away. The no-brainer uses ice-cold cans of liquid death to encompass the head of the wearer, making their brain virtually impossible for zombies to detect. So, you are telling me that this simple device will make you invisible to zombies? That seems too good to be true. Don't take my word for it, Steve. Let's show the viewers at home just how effective it is right here in the studio. Now, folks, this is a very scary zombie that we have brought in from Las Vegas just to show you how the no-brainer works. He looks hungry, Steve. <laughs> he sure does. Hey, let's bring out our interns, Tyler and Caleb, to help us demonstrate the no-brainer. All right, now we are going to put the no-brainer on one of you. Yes, Caleb. Yeah. All right. Now, as you can see, the no-brainer is made of a super lightweight, comfortable neoprene. And the band here just fits right over the ears. It's one size fits all. All you have to do is load it up and voila. Caleb is protected. Uh, do I get one? <laughs> no, no. We need to show how the zombie can detect you, but not Caleb. I want to see the no-brainer in action. <laughs> we all do. Now, we have got the zombie in another part of the cage. Now, we don't want him to get out now, do we? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't care at all if I had the no-brainer on. <laughs> Great point, Dina. All right, let's get these boys into that cage. <laughs> oh, hold on, I, I have a question. I No, please, this will be over I'm... very soon. <laughs> Help me. Tyler is the voice of this great nation, begging for help from those pesky zombies. Liquid death is very likely saving lives here, people. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> oh, but look, the zombie has just spotted Tyler's warm brains. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think the viewers at home can see just how effective the no-brainer is. Let's get Caleb out of there. <laughs> oh. Now, Caleb, tell us what it was like knowing you were completely safe in the face of imminent danger. Yes, would you recommend it to a friend? Oh, you heard it here first, folks. The liquid death no-brainer, literally beyond words. <laughs> that was absolutely fascinating. The no-brainer worked like a charm. That is right, Dina. The zombie completely ignored Caleb, whose brains were 100% hidden behind the no-brainer. Okay, I'm sold, but how much does this amazing product cost? 
$10,000. <laughs> Not even close. $100? Wrong again, Dina. The Liquid Death No-Brainer is only one easy installment of $29.99. What? <laughs> That's right. And to sweeten the deal, we will refund your money if you get attacked by zombies and die while wearing your no-brainer. No questions asked. So wait, let me get this straight, Steve, because it almost seems too good to be true. You're telling me that I get the no-brainer with its life-changing cold temperature technology, as well as the sexy design, the heavy-duty construction engineering, and the Liquid Death no-brainer comes with a refund if you get killed by zombies using it. What's the catch? <laughs> there is no catch. It's just Liquid Death's way of saving the world, one warm brain at a time. Have you spent hundreds of dollars on expensive, ineffective zombie protective devices that just don't cut it? Then you need the Liquid Death No-Brainer. The no-brainer's durable construction can withstand even the harshest apocalyptic conditions. Armored vehicles. Explosions. Fear. Even tigers. The unisex design protects brains anywhere, anytime. Even at night. Or in the shower. A lifetime guarantee gets me very excited. Do these come in children's sizes? I I'd really love to get one for my granddaughter. Even my daughter, she'd love it. My friend Dave got killed by a zombie, ripped his head clean off. Well, there you have it, folks. All the proof you need to know the Liquid Death No-Brainer delivers on its promise to keep zombies away from your precious brains. And as a celebrity stylist, the first thing that catches my eye is the design. You would expect that a life-changing device like this would be clunky and hard to wear, but not this. It's sleek, elegant, and dare I say, even sexy. <laughs> Let's bring out Courtney, our model, to show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, not only is it functional, but fashionable as well. Whether you're out bowling or going to a fancy lobster dinner date, you're looking good and feeling safe. And uh, how does it feel, Courtney? I feel beautiful. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, thank you, Courtney. You know, Dina, uh -huh. I think I need to know more about the science behind the no-brainer. Me too. Let's bring out its designer, Dr. Dick Dumble. <laughs> oh, 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 hiya, Dick. Hi, Dick. <laughs> now, tell me, what was the inspiration behind the no-brainer? Well, Steve, the answer is simple. When zombies were discovered, the team over at Liquid Death Mountain Water said, if anyone is going to save the human race, it should be us. So we put our best minds in understanding what makes zombies tick. And what did you discover? We realized that zombies love brains. And they use their special heat sensing ability to find them. Back at the lab, we like to say it's the heat, not the meat. Fascinating. Exactly. So we channeled our best function and fashion sense to create this, the Liquid Death No-Brainer. I am mesmerized by this story. See, and I have an example for you here. Mm -hmm. oh, it took us months to get this display ready. I think we got it. So we found that if you place Liquid Death around the brain's cavity, or skull, as it's more known in the scientific community, it creates a ring of coldness that caused the zombie to actually think you were one of them. See, the zombie's brains are so destroyed by the virus that it gives off very little heat signature. So, let's do an example here. Yeah, the zombie, as you can see, he is slowly approaching these two humans, right? And as he gets up front, right, I mean, it can be within an inch of the face, you know? Nothing happens. You know why? the liquid death, the cold ring, no heat signature. So now that the zombie can't sense any brain activity, no brain function at all, what does he do? He senses the brains, he gets hungry, he's gotta eat. Arr, he starts running, he starts running, but he's too slow. Arr. 
but oh. he's safe. He's gonna go on about his day. Oh, well, I hope you have a place open on your mantle at home for the Nobel Prize that you are about to win. <laughs> now, tell me, can you just use any old water? Say, even a plastic bottle of water? Mm, that is a great question, and the answer is no. You see, only aluminum cans can actually get cold enough. Plastic bottles warm up too quickly, making the no-brainer virtually ineffective. It must be infinitely recyclable aluminum cans of liquid death. Save your brains and the planet. That makes too much sense. Now, I know that the liquid death comes both in sparkling and still water. Now, can you use both in the no-brainer? Well, oh, I'm no expert on style. That's your department, Dina. <laughs> <laughs> but you can use either one. Well, personally, I'd alternate the two products, you know, to get really creative. Wow. Wow, that just took the no-brainer to a whole new level. Now, Dick, last question for you. And I know the viewers at home are all thinking it. What if I get thirsty while the zombies are around? Can I remove one of the cans to hydrate? Will the no-brainer still work with just three cans? No. In order for it to be fully effective at confusing the zombies, the no-brainer needs to be completely, completely full. If you do get thirsty, we recommend that you keep a full cooler of liquid death with you at all times. <laughs> well, that's easy peasy. <laughs> oh, well, thanks, Dick. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> Bye, Dick. <laughs> oh. Hey, now let's hear from some more satisfied no-brainer customers. With the no-brainer, I feel safe and I look great. This thing is strong. It's real strong. This is the kind of thing science should have been doing all along. Go to L-I-Q-U-I-D-D-E-A-T-H dot C-O-M slash N-O-B-R-A-I-N-E-R to buy one today. Yours for the low, low price of just $29.99 and a full lifetime warranty if you die at the hands of a zombie while wearing your no-brainer. I would like to introduce our viewers to a special friend of mine. Everyone, this is Dave, a man who used the no-brainer around some zombies and lived to tell the tale. Dave, tell us what happened to you. Well, it was a few months ago. I was at a casino off the Las Vegas Strip. I knew the zombie infection had spread, and we were warned to stay away, but nothing comes between me and my slots. Mm. Totally understandable. Go on. There I was at my lucky slot machine, when all of a sudden, a disgusting zombie just comes wandering into the casino. Luckily, I had just received my liquid death no-brainer in the mail, so I had it with me. I slipped it on like this, added the cans of liquid death to it, you're so brave. No, I did soil myself. But when you're on a machine, you have to be ready to do something like that, just in case you, know, you get on a hot street. Wasn't nothing new to me. Mm. Now tell me about the zombie. What did he do next? You know what? Let's get a zombie actor out here. Come here. Well, he got up real close to me. And it smelled like a dead cow. It looked me up and down for a minute. Then it turned around and just wandered off. It was the damnedest thing I ever saw. Mm. Well, thank you for sharing your story, Dave. <laughs> now let's bring on another guest to get a better understanding of the zombie psyche. Well, folks, I would like to welcome a very special friend of the program, Jose Gutierrez, a man who has tracked and killed hundreds of zombies. <laughs> Happy to be here, Steve. Dina, pleasure. Oh, no, the pleasure is mine, Jose. Oh, well. Uh, now, Jose, tell us, what have you learned about zombies in your days as a killer? Steve, they are pure evil. They have one goal in mind, and that's to eradicate the entire human race. Mm. And what are some tactics you use to kill the zombies? Well, I'm a trained soldier, so I have all kinds of weapons at my disposal. I got everything from uh, fully automatic rifles to uh, hand grenades. But it's not like just anyone can use these kinds of defenses, right? That's correct, Dina. 
takes years to become proficient at this level of warfare. Mm, so, what can the average Joe or Jane do in a zombie confrontation? Well, you sure as hell can't outrun them. They're a lot faster than they look, and they never tire out. Yeah, so the best tactic is to uh, do your best to confuse them. Oh, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> That's right, Dina. The one thing we know they want is your warm brains. So, the liquid death no-brainer is the safest and easiest way to get a zombie off your scent, so to speak. <laughs> now, Jose, what can you tell us about this uh, zombie over here? Well, <clears throat> this looks like your typical shambler zombie. A real nasty one, too. Uh, oh, he seems pretty agitated. Who, who is that, by the way? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. That's just Tyler. <laughs> You ought to be careful. If this thing gets out of the cage, I mean, he's going to be a tough one to kill. Looks well, hungry. unless you're wearing a no-brainer. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let's hope. You know, y'all ought to be careful. It's not safe to keep a live zombie around like this. These aren't pets. The only best zombie defense is to kill it. Well, you mean just to kill its understanding of where your brains are, right? No, I mean actually kill it. Look, I can't say that the that the no-brainer is gonna be 100% effective. I mean, I sure as hell wouldn't go putting that thing on my head and walking into the middle of the <laughs> Army of the Dead in downtown Las Vegas right now. Okay, thank you, Jose. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. This thing's trying to get out of the cage uh, right now. Are you listening uh, to me? <laughs> Viewers, let's take some of our phone calls, shall we? Uh, caller number one, you are on the air. Hi. I just wanted to say that I have a no-brainer for each of my family members, and we are just thrilled to death with them. We wear them all the time. Now, have you encountered any zombies? No, but when we do, our brains will be safe and sound. Another <laughs> satisfied customer. Caller number two, tell us your no-brainer story. Yeah, uh, I, I bet there's lots of money just laying around in Vegas. Could I wear the no-brainer, just go in there and clean up? You mean, will it protect you from hundreds of zombies? Yeah, like, can I just waltz in there? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you said it makes me virtually invisible. You said it live on TV. I heard it. I'm, I'm gonna go try. Uh, we do not condone going into Las Vegas. <laughs> okay, uh, new caller, you're live. What's your name? Hey, yeah, uh, I don't have to wear a no-brainer if I don't want to. That's true, but... Uh, it's my constitutional right to not wear one. In fact, I don't even believe the zombies are real. Oh, I'm not sure if I would go... I've never go seen one. No one I know has ever seen one. I think this is a government hoax, and I'm not falling for it. In fact, you two are just a couple of... No, hold on. Some of the damn door. What do you want? Ah! Oh, no! It's a bunch of zombies! Ah, they're eating me! Okay, let's have another look at that no-brainer in action. Zombies again? You've tried everything, and annoying zombies still won't leave you alone. They ruin everything. Not today, zombies. You've got the Liquid Death No-Brainer. Designed to fit easily in a regulation size pants pocket, you'll never have to worry about a zombie attack again. Go to L-I-Q-U-I-D-D-E-A-T-H dot C-O-M slash N-O-B-R-A-I-N-E-R -E to buy one today. Yours for the low, low price of just $29.99 and a full lifetime warranty if you die at the hands of a zombie while wearing your no-brainer. Now, I bet many of our viewers are thinking about their elderly loved ones during this outbreak. Steve, does the no-brainer work on them too? That's a great question, Dina, and the answer is yes. But let's bring out a real grandmother so our viewers can see for themselves. <laughs> oh, I just love elderly people. <laughs> wow, Steve, he's getting really agitated over there. Don't worry, <laughs> that cage is state-of-the-art. That zombie will not get out. Now, folks, this is Ethel Higglewort, and she just donated her entire life savings to a Nigerian prince. And look, she brought her own no-brainer. See, it's true, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, Ethel, um, 
Is it hard to hold your head up? I got that irritable bowel thing. And, oh my. And it makes me, yeah, it gives me this. I can't get it. Oh my God, this yeah. is Get out, run, get everybody out. Oh. Get out. Ah! <laughs> 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 